how's it doing? Well, I searched up this physics question called the rain and man question. It was like this little man, well, he was walking in the rain um, and then the rain went sideways and um, will, will it be safe for him to put it up or in which direction? Well, to understand that, I went up and searched up the trigonometry. Trigonometry had sines, cosines, and tangents. And in and and there's also this thing in and if you just search up for sin cos tan on YouTube, you'll find out that there is a, um another way to no, learn it is so car toa. So I've just been studying that. And now I've remembered. So the so, so bit is the sine, sine theta, theta, that, um, is, so the O is opposite. Over the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Okay. So to understand what opposite and hypotenuse means, we have to draw a right angled triangle. There's always a short side. Let's say this is three. Let's say this is four, and this long side, five. So the opposite, let's just, let's say this, this is the theta. theta. So theta, theta, its opposite is three. So, and um, Dr. Carl, um, I only know the numbers 4, 3, and 5, so don't blame me if there's a high number for that. But in, in this situation, theta is opposite to the number 3. So, the opposite would be 3. 3 over and then the hypotenuse is always the long side on a right angle triangle. This wouldn't work for an isosceles or uh, equilateral. So three over five because the hypotenuse is five, the long side. So the so is this the sine state theta is the, is three at three over five. Okay, now we're on to the car bit. So the C is for cosine. Cosine. Wait, just. Yeah, let's just write the big word. So cosine, um, th theta is, so the A is the adjacent, and well, the only sign we haven't mentioned is this, so this must be the adjacent, right? This, the one, and this is always the adjacent on a right angle triangle. So the adjacent is that how you spell it? Yeah, I think so. The adjacent of over the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse was the long bit, which is five. Hypotenuse and and the uh, adjacent is the is four. 
So we can say adjacent over hypotenuse is 4 over, and the h is the hypotenuse, 5. So, so the cosine would be 4 out of 5 in this situation. Now onto the toe of it. So toe is the tangent tan, tangent which is the opposite which is three. Let's just write opposite right now. Over the adjacent, the adjacent with the four. So, so we can say that the tangents in this situation, well, you could have switched it from three to four. But right now, it would be three out of four. Because the opposite of theta, oh wait, hold on, I forgot to write theta. Over here is so it it the tangents theta is three out of four. So that is what what the basics of trigonometry I just learned before. Thanks for watching.